Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. The new iteration of Android which is Android O is getting closer with lots of details expected to be unveiled during Google I.O. 2017. The first developer preview was released in mid of March and it is already available for Nexus and Pixel devices and the final build will arrive in the third quarter of 2017. So I thought why not make a video on how Android O which is expected to be called Android 8.0 is different from existing Android Nougat and also what are the major changes and newly added features in the early build of Android O. Excited? So let's get started. Simplified Settings one of the major change is the redesigned setting menu which is completely different from previous versions of Android. Now the menus are more sorted and there is no longer any slide out menu and the categories on the main page of the settings. You can clearly see the difference. On my left, I have OnePlus 3T which is running the latest version of Android Nougat 7.1.1. And on the right, I have Nexus 6P which is running the first developer preview of Android O. Now there are 13 main headings with short descriptions of what's inside which results in much shorter setting list. Further if we go inside in the setting menu, some of the categories have also received design refreshes including battery. The overall color scheme has a black and white approach with blue accent and personally I like the redesigned setting menu. No more unknown sources. Now, as you may know, in Android, installing apps from third-party sources was quite simple as compared to iOS. By just enabling the unknown sources from the setting menu, you can install apps from anywhere. But now in Android O, there is a little bit of twist. Now, if you want to install an APK file, then you will need to authorize each source separately. For instance, you have to download an app using Chrome browser. Now, after downloading the app, when you click to install that app, you will be prompted as Application installed from external sources are blocked. So to install app, click on external sources. Now select Chrome and enable trusted apps from this source and you are good to go. This basically means that if you want to install an app from external sources then you have to grant the permissions for each and every sources individually. Picture in picture mode. Last year Android Nougat introduces picture in picture mode which basically shrinks a playing video into a floating window. But at that time, this feature was only available for Android TVs but not anymore. Now with this new Android O update, you can use this feature on your smartphone also but first you have to enable it. So to do that, head over to the system UI tuner, then navigation bar. Now from here, click on extra left button and add a key code. After that, go back and now here you will find a new option which says left key code. Click on that and type 171 and press OK. Now this will basically trigger the secret picture in picture window. You can also change the icon according to your preference. Once that is done, open the YouTube and play a video. Now to shrink that window, just press this left icon and boom, you have entered the PIP mode. Custom lock screen shortcuts. Now if you take a closer look over the lock screen of Android O, then you will find that it looks quite similar to Android Nougat in terms of design. But don't go with the looks, because there are features buried inside the system UI tuner. In the previous versions of Android, users are not allowed to change the lock screen shortcuts but not anymore. With Android O, now you can change the shortcuts according to your liking. This feature lets you choose either an app or a setting shortcut to show up in the lock screen. This basically means that now you have the ability to add some useful shortcuts that really make sense. For instance, now you can add app shortcuts like YouTube, Play Store, File Manager or whatever you like. Notifications Android N itself saw some pretty big changes with notifications but Android O tends to take it to the next level. When you swipe down the notification shade, you can clearly see some changes like now you have 6 styles instead of 5. Rather than that, at the top right corner, you will see the battery indicator which now show battery percentage also. Next to that is the setting menu icon and the tiles drop down arrow and if you look at the Android N notification shade, then it's just blank at the top right corner. Except the cosmetic change, it also includes some really cool features like snooze notification. Just swipe the notification to right and tap this clock icon to snooze notifications. 
This will make the message go away for 15 minutes then come right back when the time is up. Another newly added feature is called Notification Channel. This feature let you choose between less useful and more useful notifications for a specific app and none of these features were available on Android Nougat. Built-in File Manager and Cleaner The previous versions of Android were criticized by the user for not having its own inbuilt file manager. But in Android Nougat, we had a hidden file manager inside storage setting and that was very basic. But now in Android O, you will see a dedicated icon for the file manager in the app drawer, inside which the categories are now more sorted. Rather than that, now we also have a dedicated junk file cleaner inside the storage setting to clean the unwanted files stored on your device. Navigation Bar Tuner Next up is the navigation bar which receive a new layout option. If you go through the system UI tuner, you will find a new navigation bar option which lets you tweak the layout of your on-screen navigation buttons. But this was not possible in the case of Android Nougat. In Android O, you will get layout option that lets you choose between normal, compact, left-leaning and right-leaning which comes in handy if you want to use your device single-handed. Now you also have the option to add extra left and right buttons on your navigation bar. And you can also choose from several options like clipboard, keycode and keyboard switcher. Improved audio quality Nowadays 3.5mm jack is becoming less standard as the major smartphone manufacturers are getting rid of it and they are focusing more towards wireless audio. And that's the reason why Google is working with Sony to get the LDAC codec in Android O. It means if you have a Bluetooth headphone that supports LDAC then you will get a much improved audio output. Not only LDAC, Android O also supports other codec like SBC, AAC, APTX and APTX HD. Additionally, there are also options for sample rate, bits per sample and channel mode. So guys, these are 8 major changes which Android O brings to the table. And if you think we had missed any change, then do let us know that in the comment section. So that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.